do that now. So this is what you have to do in this case. You, hence, we'll to find the perimeter of the rectangle. We've found that this is the case. Um, we can now actually use this to find the, um, the answer for what is x. And this is how we do it. Uh, let me just check to see what you've done with the perimeter here. You've got um, x minus. So um, I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to do it up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it from here so I can see it. So we've got the perimeter is going to be equal to um, x minus 2 all um, times 2 um, plus 2x. So that's 2x minus 4 plus 2x, which is equal to 4x minus 4. So you've got that right. So the next thing is, what is x? Well, if I just use this part of the board over here, so x minus 1 all squared uh, minus 4 is equal to 0. Well, I can move the minus 4 to the side. I've got x minus 1 all squared is equal to 4. Now I can square root both sides. And this is where you've got to be careful because some people might do this. x minus 1, so square root the left-hand side, is equal to 2. But that's wrong, isn't it? So why is that wrong? The reason, the reason why it's wrong is because 2 is not the square root of 4. Hmm, sounds a bit weird. It's plus or minus 2 is the square root of 4. Okay, so there are two possible solutions, aren't there, to quadratics? So x is actually equal to um, plus or minus 2 minus 1, which means plus 2 minus 1. So 1 or minus 2 minus 1, which is minus 3. OK, so um, x can clearly not be equal to a negative number. So it must be equal to 1 in this case, because we're talking about an actual length of the um, length of the rectangle. So it can't be a negative number. So so it's going to be equal to, therefore, 4 times 1 um, minus uh, hang on. I just realised what I've done wrong. I, when I moved the x the one over to the side, I did minus. I should have done plus sometimes. So that should be plus, right? Let's just rub this bit out then. Ah, eraser, please. Thank you. Okay. So plus one plus three is three. Minus two plus one is minus one. Can't be that because x can't be a negative number, so it's 3. All right, that makes a bit more sense. So the perimeter is going to be 4 times 3, 12, minus 4, which is 8. So the perimeter is 8 centimetres.